Grizzly Bird. Hello, Coffee. Thank you for coming over with me today. Hello, Maria. I'm looking forward to it. Where were you born? I was born in Gloverton, Bonavista Bay. What was life like growing up? Describe a typical day. Okay, well, uh, uh, <coughs> It was a little different than, uh, than what you uh, are experiencing today. And, uh, you know, at my, at, when I started school at uh, grade five or six, uh, you get up in the morning and then you have breakfast and somebody lit the fire. And then you walk to school with your, uh, your bag on your back, with your books in it. And you go to school and then uh, somebody had to light the fire there. And uh, then in the evening you came back, and of course uh, the difference was there's no TV, no radio, and no bathroom, and no electricity. So you had kerosene lamps, and you lit that, and then of course you know you you had your supper, and after supper you uh, you had to do your your studies, and uh, then back to bed. But you know the, the thing is is that. Uh, uh, they were still joyful days. We enjoy it. We enjoy ourselves, and uh, thanks to our mother and father. How are things different back in your day? Well, back in my day, you know, compared to yours, I mean, uh, uh, we didn't have any television, and we had no radio, and, and no electricity, and no computers. Can you imagine that? No computers. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, you know, you, you had to carry on the, the best way you could. And uh, you studied uh, at night time on uh, kerosene lamps. Yeah. Grizzly lamps? What are kerosene lamps, Poppy? Well, kerosene lamps are, are, are you know, it's just an ordinary lamp. It's about, you know, so high. And then the bottom, you got the container that carries kerosene. You fill it up and uh, and then you got a wick comes up and you turn it on, turn on the wick up a little further, you light the wick and then you got your light. You got no electricity, you had the uh, light. Wow, that's different. Isn't it? That's really different. Where did our ancestors come from, Poppy? Well, they, of course, they, uh, your ancestors came from, from the Burton family. And the Burton family uh, came over from uh, Scotland, was in England. And uh, of course, uh, they moved into Hout Forts uh, around the bays and these places. And that's where uh, my grandfather and his grandfather and my father grew up. And uh, then eventually they moved into the central part of, say, Bonavista Bay, which was Gloverham. And that's, that's where I grew up. Where did you go to school? Went to school in Glovertown, which is uh, where I was born. Okay. What was your favorite subject? Mathematics. Were you good at math? Yes, I was pretty good at math, I must say. It was probably one of my best subjects in school. Okay. What did you like to do in your spare time, Pop? Well, like uh, in them days, you know, and when I was probably your age, and, and probably continuing on uh, uh, used to skate and uh, and we used to uh, 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 like skiing on the mountain up from the house and uh, we used to go up on the top of the mountain and come down with uh, 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 barrel shaves on our feet and, uh, <laughs> and, and and we enjoyed doing that you know what are barrel shaves? okay what, what happened in, 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 the, in them days, you had uh, most of the stuff you, you buy in the grocery stores came in barrels, okay? And in the barrels, there's uh, pieces of uh, uh, probably about four inches wide that goes up and makes the barrel, you know, and it's all cork, they're all cork. But anyway, you beat the barrel up and you take the, 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 the pieces of board, used to call it, and it, we could put a, a strap uh, across them, a strap around the, the board and on both sides, and you go up on the hill and you come down and ski down. So in actual fact, 
They're probably like the skis today. Cool. What was your role in the household? What kind of chores did you have? Well, in, in our day, you know, as we grew up, and uh, you can't say if we were doing it probably at, at your age, but I say when we got up, you know, probably around 10, 11, 12 years old, and some of the things we had to do was we had to uh, uh, cut up wood uh, and, and splits and bring it in to light the fire in the morning. And we had to bring water from uh, probably a quarter of a mile uh, to the well, to a well. And you go down and dip the water up and bring it up and uh, we have hoops, we have hoops around us. And you carry two, uh, two uh, say uh, probably five gallon cans or less. And you come up and you or you throw it in the barrel, in, in, in the pork barrel, we used to call it, didn't they? But guess where we got tea? The ski uh, uh, boards, right? Okay, you had a tough time back in those days. Why did you have to go to school? But you're still really smart. Why do you think it's the most important thing kids should learn and know today? Well, I think today kids have got to be, because there's, there's so much uh, so many things to do, uh, and it, it, it's probably very important for kids to, uh, uh, you know, uh, to listen to their mom and dad, and, uh, you know, carry on that way through the various things that you do, and uh, I think I think probably uh, that's the most important thing. Thank you, my darling. It was so nice having uh, that interview with you, and you did a fantastic job. Thanks. Three, two, one. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Reset that. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. What was the question again? Uh, then my uh, father and grandfather, <coughs> they all lived in a <coughs> coffin in the back. It's all right. It's all right. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Papi, you had a tough time, but you know a lot of stuff. What do you think? Once I say something, I just can't remember the other part. That's okay. <laughs> Try again. <laughs>